First, gather all of your supplies and wash your hands. Place your scrub top onto a flat surface. Fasten a safety pin to your scrub top, avoiding the abdominal area. This will mark the scrub top you will be using in the study. Remove your template from the supply bag and place it onto your scrub top so that the bottom edge rests just above the pocket lines. Remove the swab from your supply bag. Peel back the packaging about a quarter of the way. Remove the sterile cap from the plastic tube and discard. Holding the swab only by this plastic cylinder on the end, insert the swab into the plastic tube. Squeeze the bottom of the plastic tube 10 to 15 times to moisten the tip of the swab. Only remove the swab when you are sure you are ready to collect your sample. Starting in the top left corner of the template, move the swab from right to left while rolling the swab in between your fingertips. It is important that you do this slowly and carefully as to swab every square inch within the template. Starting in the bottom right corner, move the swab from top to bottom, rolling the swab in between your fingertips. Again, it is important that you do this slowly and carefully to swab every square inch within the template. Do not rush this step. Once you have finished collecting your sample, place the swab back into the plastic tube, making sure it clicks into place. Once you have collected your sample, you must label it using the stickers provided. If you've just collected your pre-laundering sample, use the green sticker. If you've just collected your post-laundering sample, use the pink sticker. Write the date onto the sticker. Place the sticker horizontally onto the plastic tube, insert it into the smaller biohazard bag, seal it, and bring it to your Dropbox location. When submitting your post laundering sample, fold the large biohazard bag and put both into the Dropbox. This will ensure that no biohazard bag wrongly enters the normal trash.